And welcome back to What If, the week of What If, and today's What If is brought to us by Little Lad, who asked the question, what if Super Saiyan 3 was the limit? So in Dragon Ball Z, obviously, it's, before we go into Super, it was basically the pinnacle of Super Saiyan, uh, but it came at a great cost, you know, it, it had massive key consumption, which means it couldn't be used for very often. Its initial transformation and brief stint to use of power was surpassed Super Saiyan 2 by leagues. It was four times Super Saiyan 2, but the key consumption was massive. But then, uh, you know, Goku continued to train with it and still used it sparingly. We barely saw it in Super, but we still saw it on rare occasions. Uh, but then, obviously, we got the introduction of Super Saiyan God, and then Super Saiyan Blue, Ultra Instinct, and in the manga, Ultra Ego. Um, I'm sure they'll continue to go by that. And G GT had Super Saiyan 4. Uh, Heroes has Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4, whatever. Or whatever. The and then, obviously, Berserk is Broly's and Kale's form. Uh, legendary Super Saiyan, and then it goes to Broly. So there's still plenty of Super Saiyan forms beyond that. But what if that was the limit? What if there is no Super Saiyan 4, no Super Saiyan Limit Breaker, no Ultra, well, I mean, Ultra Instinct technically could still exist, but it's just different. Uh, what if there is God Key, but you just don't have, uh, you can't use Super Saiyan Blue or anything like that, or Super Saiyan Transformations in that sense. Um... Like, basically, there is no Super Saiyan God in this game. Like, the legend of Super Saiyan God is just that, a legend. There isn't actually a Super Saiyan God. Uh, what happens in the story of GT, then? Or GT, uh, in the story of Super? Because that's really where the... That's why this is only a one-shot. Because we're really looking at what happens in Super if there is no Super... If there's only Super Saiyan 3 as the maximum. <sighs> well, unfortunately, things aren't going to be going well for in Super. Because uh, obviously Goku and Beerus go toe to toe, and he fails even in Super Saiyan three. Um, and then Beerus goes and upset. He wants his, you know, he wants to find. He wants a. He wants his pudding, but b. He wants um. Uh, he wants to learn uh, where the God, Super Saiyan God is. And and the change it would have to be is when they ask Shenron about the Super Saiyan God. There, he basically says no deity exists in the current day, and there's no way to make a new deity. The even the method of like the method of making one was in the ancient Namekian text. Here, there would be no method of making like then there is a Super Saiyan God. I think that's the way to put it. Super Saiyan God exists in this world, but there's no way to obtain it, even through training, because we don't know how Vegeta got it, but we assume it was through some specialized training. Uh, but there is just no way to, um, there is just no way to obtain it in this. There, that makes Super Saiyan 3 it. So, uh, what happens? Is Beerus so pissed off that he can't have the Super Saiyan God there that he just blows up the Earth? Is we able to calm him down or, you know, to, uh, or someone able to calm him down? What exactly is the scenario here because let's be honest there's a reason this is a one shot um i will say this i think they are able to persuade beerus from destroying the earth i think because they you know they they use the food and all that but it's really no, it's really no go it's really no good um in terms of, like, beyond that. Like, Beerus likes the food there, so he's just like, oh, uh, I enjoy the food here, but I don't really intend, to, I don't really intend to let you survive beyond that. Uh, 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 waste my time again, and there'll be no helping you. And so he goes off. <sighs> Vegeta, you know, just sticks with Super Saiyan, is Super Saiyan, just continues to train with that. Uh, Goku and the gang just continues doing their thing, and unfortunately... This is where the, they, they're screwed. They are absolutely screwed because Frieza would train. He would get his golden Frieza form, which even his standard Frieza for like final form, his true form, uh, was able to go toe to toe with Goku who would absorb the power of a Super Saiyan God into his base and he could go toe to toe with him. Super Saiyan 3 Goku without that buff can't take on Frieza. He can't take on Frieza. So even if Beerus doesn't destroy the Earth, Frieza will, because they have no way to beat Frieza. The best option they could maybe muster 
is trying to do the fusion dance. Maybe. Uh, but Gotenks gets it, got it. Gotenks got his ass spanked by freaking first or suppressed fire, weakest form Frieza. If I remember correctly, he got his ass spanked by him. Or was it? No, yeah, he got his ass spanked by him. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um, like he got his ass handed to him. By even Super Saiyan Gohan, who was at his weakest point in the series at that point, but could still go Super Saiyan. So that's a 50 times amplifier. Got one shot by him. And that's just in his weakest form. So unfortunately, if Super Saiyan 3 really is the limit, it doesn't matter how well Goku trains with it. It doesn't matter if Vegeta... And I know people are going to... I know I'm going to get people who try to argue. Well, maybe you could do this and this. No, 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 no. Don't try to fanfic it. Look at what is within the realm of DBZ's reality and understand what you're asking for the what if. If Super Saiyan 3 is the limit, there is no way to access Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue by that extension, or uh, the best they could hope for is Ultra Instinct. There's no way they could do that within that time frame. Um, if that is all they can do, even if they master it and minimize the key consumption to the utmost degree, it doesn't matter because their power level is like, here's their power level initially. Now I can bring it to the Super's levels. It's It's nothing. It's nothing compared to what we see in Super. So, without yeah, without God buffs, without anything like that, Super Saiyan three is relegated to, relegated to being just useless. Uh, I mean, or, okay, not useless. It's the strongest form you have, but it just doesn't mean anything at that point compared to everything else. So, unfortunately, even somehow if they survived Frieza, you still got the Universe, uh, Universe six arc where none of those guys are strong enough to take on Hit at that point. So, Universe 6 would win, and they'd end up having Earth there. That's assuming they survived that far along. I don't... I'll be honest, I don't honestly know if Zamasu would go evil. That's act, that's an actual thing, because there's no demonstration of the abilities of the gods and mortals. So, Zamasu might not turn. So, that you could avoid the Goku Black arc then. So, and, and now, now, now I'm just spitballing. This is if they get past this arc, if they get past this arc, if they get past this arc... So now they are a part, everyone on Earth is part of Universe 6, and Beerus is rightfully pissed off. Um, so that would actually mean that Universe 7 would lose horribly in the Tournament of Power, because they have barely any, they have almost no one now. Um, so <laughs> it, it just, it would be, it would be terrible, just terrible and honestly as much as i love the super saiyan 3 form i am a avid defender and lover of the super saiyan 3 form it is very good that they added a stronger form beyond it now i do honestly i do wish that you did see like super saiyan blue 2 super saiyan blue 3 and you just added the blue hair or just did something different because i do think it would look pretty badass there's plenty of fan anim uh, uh drawings of it um it makes me wonder what's... Because someone did actually draw a realistic version of what Super Saiyan 5, in theory, would look like. It would just look like Super Saiyan 4, but with the hairstyle of, like, a Super Saiyan 2. I do wonder, though, what Super Saiyan 6, in theory, would look like if um, if they went that route with the hair and stuff. Like, oh, God, I, ugh, I don't know if I'd like that. I like what Super Saiyan 5 from AF kind of looked like with the white hair and all that. I like that design. Uh, there's many different ways you can do a, go about it, but that is, unfortunately, my opinion on what if Super Saiyan 3 was the limit, and that is what you were asking, what if Super Saiyan 3 was the limit, which means there is no, and I'm pretty sure you're meaning there's no Super Saiyan God or Blue, that's just it, well, unfortunately, our cast is screwed, <laughs> the best, the best you could hope for in a scenario is giving the Platara to them, uh, and giving it to, uh, giving it to Goku and, uh, Vegeta, turning into Vegito, uh, but then, how they get the Platara, you know, that's up for debate, especially in certain circumstances. And then going to Super Saiyan 3 as Vegito, as we see in, like, uh, the Dragon Ball Multiverse uh, fan manga. So, and, and I mean, that would be a very powerful individual, to be sure. Someone who could probably actually kind of stand up the Beerus to some degree. Uh, who's Because his power is well beyond that of Goku and Vegito. Um, Vegeta. So, I do think it's like, because he and he was bitch slapping Buhan, who was confirmed to be the strongest version, I believe, of Majibu, and he was bitch smacking them around. So I do think he could probably stand up to Beerus to a degree, but nothing that really 
it has any impact. And then they'd have to constantly be doing that over and over again. So, and then they, they, and that was all dependent on if they could get access to Platara to have on a regular basis. So, yeah, that's what happens if I think Super Saiyan Three is the limit. Though I love the form, I just it it just isn't um it isn't viable on its own without you know other buffs. Goku having God uh, getting God form in his base that that's different. Then you could add Super Saiyan Three on there. And have a very different conversation. But unfortunately, that's not what happens. So, anyway. I digress. And this is all assuming Beerus just doesn't blow up the planet, by the way. I made the argument that maybe they're able to convince him not to do it. But what if they're not? Then they're all screwed. <laughs> so, anyway. I digress. Thanks for watching, though. That's my thoughts. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm sure a lot of people who wanted this video are going to be pissed off. <laughs> like, dude, that's not what we wanted. Well, that's what you asked for. <laughs> Sorry. That's what you asked for. You wanted my opinion on what you asked for. So there you go. Um, anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thank, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks later. Um, I've still got to pre-record my What If for Wednesday. And I got one more video to do. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.